how y'all doing um happy sunday in my world happy whenever you'll see this in your world okay bienvenidos a mi canal welcome back to my channel <laughs> i don't know why that always makes me laugh um thank you so come yeah thank you so much for coming back to see me if you know me <laughs> i'm sorry for the hiccup if you do not recognize this face right here um my name is latrice and nice to meet you and this right here is faith by latrice where faith is the muscle we exercise down here now let's get on into it no dilly dallying <coughs> let's get up in here all right okay y'all it's sunday so since it's sunday um that means i got to watch my service okay and uh, pastor darius daniels once again what up pd today's message was um entitled there's more who we can get up into that title right there alone it's entitled there's more and this is coming from his series pda public display affection and it's um about god's pda and what kind of pda he like okay so anyways long story short this these notes i have are from that sermon now let me just we don't get up into it huh all right first thing i gotta tell y'all he said the creator of a thing knows how to get the best out of it just sit with that real quick. The creator of a thing knows how to get the best out of it, huh? The creator of a phone, the creator of a printer. If it... So let's just say hypothetical, not hypothetical, that God is the creator of all things. All things, people, plants, animals, the entire world, the creator. So don't you think he would know how to get the best out of us? With that being said, Petey was like, God is a God of principles, right? He's a God of principles. Now, once again, I be quoting PD, but I, you know, read the Bible and study it and know these things for myself. So, so boom. Throughout the Bible, there's plenty of times where God is saying, do this, don't do this, do this. This will be more helpful to you, more beneficial to you, right? He names three principles in this sermon. And one, the one we're going to talk about right now, real, real quick, is the principle of proclamation. Proclamation. To proclaim something is to declare it, right? To say it. But what he said, the principle of proclamation, he said, whoever has your ear has your future. What does that mean? Whoever you're listening to, whoever has your ear. Real quick question. Who are you listening to? Where are you getting your advice from? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Boom. La tema de hoy va a ser. The topic for today is la tema de hoy. The successful are selective. Now, let's say something new. We didn't talk about a little piece of this before, okay? The successful are selective. Selective with what? Their time, their resources, their energy. To be successful, that means, first of all, I can't hang out all night. I can't hang out all day. If I want to be successful, that means I have a plan. I have a vision. I have something that God gave me, something that I see in my heart, something that I cannot go to sleep without thinking. And to get to that, that means it's going to take work from me. We already talked about this. I'm going to have to do the work. I'm going to have to study. I'm going to have to use my gift and the work that I, the skills that I develop, right, to get there. That means I can't spend all these hours a day talking to somebody on the phone about nothing. I can't spend all this time going to the mall shopping, going to the bar. Hello, if we still do that. I can't spend all this time. Right? I'm selective with my time and who I give my time to. That's a nugget right there. Selective with who you're spending your time with. You may love them, but are they really <laughs> helping you? You may have known them, known them for 10 years, but are they really helping you? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Y'all get that on the back end. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> um, selective with your time, your resources, your attention, right? Am I spending my money on everything, on everybody? Am I helping everybody with this 10 spot here, 20 here, 50 here? What is that doing to my bank account? Okay. If I want to be select, if I want to be successful, excuse me. If I want to be successful, I have to be selective with my resources, we finna run down these notes real, real quick. He said, people will misinterpret your selectiveness for being stuck up. That you think you better than them, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, you change. And sidebar, the goal is to change. Staying the same means you're stagnant. We talked about this in another video. Are we still doing the same thing last, today as we did last year? Are we still doing the same old, same, the same old dilly dallying? Are we still doing that? Oh my gosh. He said, stop apologizing for setting boundaries and no longer pleasing people. I shouldn't have to go backwards for us to be together. 
relationally, romantically, friendships, whatever. I shouldn't have to go back to be my old self, go do the partying, go do the drinking, go do the staying up all night, go doing the all-nighters, unnecessarily, for us to be friends, for us to kick it, for us to have anything in common. Oh my gosh. Last thing. He said, you keep resurrecting a part of me God wants to bury. God's like, if we're going to get you to this new thing, I'm going to need you to throw away that thing you used to do. That old person you used to be back in 2015, 2016, 2017, we can't bring her. We can't bring her into the newness right now. Because the new person, the newness, the new space right now is going to require a different set of skills, a different set of attention, a different thing in, in general. It's going to require a different you. The old you cannot go. You have to be selective with who you spend your time with, how much time you spend with them. Be selective with your resources, your energy, all of that. Okay, that's it. I'm going to stop yelling at y'all. I love you, okay? Mira. Si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti ahora mismo, right now, if nobody's told you today, I love you. What? Because <sighs> listen, life be life, eh? But guess what? We're going to prosper regardless. I catch you on the flip side. Bye.